Hey everybody, this is Peter from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and we have received some Steam keys from Ockram Digital to check out some of their digital games, and uh, we are going to check out, or I'm going to check out today, the 8-Minute Empire game by Ryan Lucat. Uh, this is uh, one that uh, Dan from Tabletop Gaming Guild made a video about uh, about a week or so ago, and this is going to be my first time checking it out, uh, kind of giving you my first impressions of the game. Uh, my understanding is it's an area control game that's also card-based. Um, it's supposed to play very quickly, so let's see how quickly we can play it. So we're going to play a new game. Uh, we've got a lot of different maps here to choose. Let's just go ahead and go with the initial map. We're going to enter our name. Peter. Confirm. Uh, let's see here. Play against at least two people. We'll make them easy because I don't want to make it too hard on myself. And let's play. So, area control games, not my strong suit. Uh, let's see here, game instructor. There's a, the possibility to turn off the game instructor messages. Speech bubbles in the bottom right corner. Would you like to turn off the tips now? Oh, no, no. Let's leave the tips on. Any and all help I can get would be uh, beneficial. So, it looks like we all start, and again, from what Dan was saying in his video, we all start with three people in this middle region. And uh, we're going to be using our coins to purchase cards from the bottom market and uh, those cards will give us items as well as uh, either people or movement uh, or cities I guess give us some options of things to do to spread our little empire uh, we're gonna do it at all in 10 turns and we each have 11 coins to start uh, and we're gonna bid to see who gets to go first um, I'm gonna go last if possible so I'm not gonna bid anything Alright, so it looks like Edward uh, has won the bidding. He spent three coins, and then, um, yeah, so let's see see what's going to happen here. Edward is selecting the first player. Also, Edward gets to choose first player, so I guess Edward could have chosen to make one of the other players go first, but looks like Edward went first. Now Mallory is going to go... Okay, so on the left-hand side of the screen, it looks like it's tracking all sorts of different things. Um... Let's see, it's got a little symbol of like a tower with a zero for three for most of us, uh, three for 18. So it looks like the m multiple amount of cities that you can have, the most cities you can have is three. Most uh, people out on the board you can have is 18. And then it keeps track of your coins. Uh, Edward's got seven left. Mallory's got nine. I've got all 11. And then it also looks like it's keeping track of the, the items that we receive. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to start by... What's th what's this going to do for me? Recruit troops. Recruit troops. How many troops can I recruit with that? Uh, it looks like just one troop. Just one troop. So we got a little back arrow here, uh, which is nice. It's going to let me go back. Um, so I could use that, the item. There's only four on that track, so it looks like it's maybe easier to fill that track up. Sure, we'll go with that. We're going to go recruit a troop. We're going to recruit one troop. That's going to be our turn. So done. Very simple, very quick, very easy. Uh, Edward has decided to build a city in the middle, which gives him another... Ooh, and then Mallory uh, killed one of Edward's troops. Interesting. Okay. So that was a card that had a dagger on it. You get to use that, and you can choose to destroy someone's troops. So that's interesting. Um, you know what? Let's just keep recruiting for now. Um, and that's going to let me recruit two more. And nowhere else to put them but where I currently am. Click the little check mark. End of my turn. So, fairly quick so far. Alright, so Mallory is expanding over the ocean. So... Alright, so I haven't really spread out much yet, but I kind of like recruiting some people, but we could do some movement. I guess I gotta eventually probably move around some. Probably not a bad idea. Uh, I can get five movement from this one, and it's free. So sure, let's go ahead and try that out. Try to get a little movement going. Um, so we'll, 
go up one, two, two moves, three, four, five. All right, so we've done some movement. We've we've moved we've moved some people around. Uh, the, I like that the victory point tracker just continues to track things as the game is being played. Mallory is, is kicking it right now, right as she has just turned the map as yellow as yellow can be. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and spend two coins and let's try to recruit some more people here in the middle. Turning the map a little blue yet again. Alright, Edward's getting a lot of movement going. Mallory's gonna do some movement as well. Oh man, she's all over the place. Um, spend two more coins. Do a little movement again. That it just just two okay just two would have liked a little bit more movement than that but that's all right all right um I could build a city built a city, where would I put it? Somewhere I've already got. Do I want to build a city or do I want to destroy a troop? I could destroy a troop. That would be handy. Yep, let's destroy a troop. It just does. It moves it moves along rather quickly. Uh, let's see. So Edward is quickly taking over the center of the map here. Definitely need more troops. Recruits, recruits. Still got six coins left. Let's get. S Three more troops there to possibly move around in a second. Edward starts to move, okay. He's going to build a city. All right, so I'm not doing terrible right now. We're on turn eight, into turn eight, round eight. So I've got two up here. Get some movement, maybe. I've got three coins left. Hmm, a carrot would maybe... Is it that a carrot gets me up to, like, another point? Sure, we're gonna build another city. We're gonna build over here. Alright, Mallory's getting some more troops. Alright, so it's between me and Mallory, for right now anyways. 
We've got a fairly strong hold in the center. I don't want to give that up. Got three coins left. very long. Edward's going to make their last move. Take over the center. Mallory spreads out. Alright, so I just need to be able to, I think, take over this middle section again. I think if I take over this middle section again, I might win. So I think to do that, I just need to recruit more troops. Alright, I won. Alright, but that was a very basic game. That was a very uh, beginner's game. Uh, I controlled one continent, five regions, eight goods. So, I definitely pulled off a, a win in the goods area. Mallory killed it in the regions and also in the continents. So that's interesting. I only won it by one point. Mm, let's play one more quick game. Now that I feel like we're getting it a little bit better. I kind of like going last. So I'm not going to bid anything again. This time Mallory won. And Mallory is going to... Uh, player Mallory has won the bidding. Continue. Mallory selecting the first player. Hopefully she doesn't choose. Yep, she, she chose herself. And she's immediately spreading out. Alright, so I think I'm, I, I like what I did last time, which was to decide to just grow a little bit first with people. Um, you want two or three. Two or three. I'm just going to start with this cheap one here and recruit two more troops in the center region. Edward is also going to expand, same as Mallory. Mallory recruits some troops. And then it's probably a good idea to start moving a little bit. Um, we'll go with our four movement. We're going to move some troops here across the land. So we spread out a little bit to the south, southeast. Edward is headed, our southwest, Edward is headed to the east. All right. I need more troops. I need more troops before I'm going to start moving around too much. Go here, build a city, 
build a city over here on the coast. Nice ocean views. Alright, Mallory's continuing to spread to the west. So far, I've got trees and a carrot. Spend a coin, get a carrot. Alright, so I was able to destroy one of Mallory's troops and bring a troop for myself. troops around here in a second probably. Move troops on water and land. that. So everyone's pretty evenly split right now. We've got Mallory at 7, I'm at 7, Edward's at 9. Oh, because he's got these continents. That's interesting. Okay. Probably need to recruit some more troops. this one so I can move at least one down there so that Edward's not getting that continent anymore. Good move for Edward. 
getting close to the end of the game. It's going to get me, what, three more points for filling out this top track here. Last round. Alright, so let's see here. So Mallory's got me by two points right now. She took over that region. I could recruit. I don't think that would help me beat Mallory though. I think that would defeat Edward for now. Do I need to move? Mallory's not going to get to go again. I can move up to three. One. Two. That's going to tie. See, this is interesting, getting to uh, to go back and forth between what I can do to possibly win the game. So that would make it, that would, but that would not win it. Hmm. I think the best thing I can possibly do is probably try to tie Mallory right now. Take one of those back. Go here. Edward. Edward coming in at the end for the win. All right. So yeah, so this, I mean, this is an interesting little game, a little area control game. Uh, I like that it plays quickly. I'd be interested in playing it with some other people rather than the AI. Um, the goods really add up point-wise, but Edward, Edward was kind of spread around. Like, I didn't win any continents, but Edward got continents, regions, and goods. So, I don't know. Uh, this is an interesting game. I've never played it on a board. I've only played it here. This is my first time playing it. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed watching me play it. And uh, if so, you check it out. Ockram Digital is uh, it's available through Steam. And uh, I think it's only maybe like $9.99, $10, something like that. So you can check it out. If you like area control games, I think it could be a fun one. Uh, to, to play with other people you know digital games I enjoy I like playing them with an actual person rather than the AI so I'll get more enjoyment out of it that way um, but yeah on a, on a first initial glance I think this could be a fun little strategy um, area control game that I could play 
with a couple of my friends who I know who are into games like that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, keep playing games.